All right, family, definitely have to watch out for some of these recalls because people are really getting sick. Let's see exactly what's going on. Someone did mention um, medications coming in at Even with tomatoes, this is not usual. I mean, I know we be low over here in my parts of New Jersey, but... Hey family, welcome back, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna just discuss a few recalls, so stay tuned for that. This is Shauna, and I'm officially checking in over here at Moments With Us. You guys, check in, let us know where you're watching from and how you are doing. Of course, as always, I am checking in from Northern New Jersey. Hey fam, welcome back, welcome back. Just jumping right into today's video. Um, this boar's head recall is expanding and expanding. We had a video, we did report, I believe in uh, last week, Saturday's video, but since then it have expanded. So if you are a lunch meat eater, I believe one person said they had a deli sandwich and they wound up, you know, catching the, basically having major issues with their stomach. Um, so this could have been a possibility so definitely when you came through and you checked in through the comments and you let us know like, hey, my stomach was done after I consumed the sandwich. This could be possibly why. So watch out for the boar's head recall. It now includes 7 million pounds of deli meat. 7 million. Yes, I said that correct. So the recall initially announced on July 26th has now expanded to include more than 71 products from boar's head Inc. And I think I mentioned this like, hey, we love some boar's head. If I ever was buying lunch meat, it was always boar's head. But now, yeah, we stepping way back. So on July 26, Virginia-based boar's head ink recalled 200,000 pounds of liverworth uh, products and deli meats due to possible listeria contamination, y'all. So this recall has now been expanded to include 7 million pounds of ready-to-eat meat and poultry products okay so um the u.s department of agriculture food safety and inspection services did go ahead and report that recently so we're going to go ahead and look at a list of the products try to pull some up here on the screen so the original recall did include liverwort um and numerous of products such as beef salami bologna and Virginia ham. The expansion includes 71 more products produced between May 10th and July 29th. Y'all know how long ago May was? Y'all know how many people not consumed that already? Hopefully no one got really, really sick. Um, these products have sell-by dates ranging from July 29th through October 17th. Lunch meat does not stay that good long. It doesn't stay good long in a refrigerator like that, okay? Um, and bear establishment number 12612 or P12612 inside the USDA mark of inspection on the product labels. So if you have it, toss it out. Um, so this the original recall did include products sold solely in the US. This expansion includes poultry exported to the Cayman Island, Dominican Republic, Mexico, and Panama. So the recall is linked to 13 state listeria outbreaks tied to deli meat sliced at counters. So far, there have been 34 reports of illnesses, 33 hospitalizations, and two deaths in connection to the listeria outbreak. I will stay away from the brand altogether, honestly. That's what I will do. Um, definitely up to you, but I'll stay far away from it for a while. Definitely, if you have any questions, they're saying call 1-800-352-6277 if you have any questions in regards to this recall. Symptoms could be same day or as late as 10 weeks after consuming boar's head meat. They're saying that it's um, pre-sliced, well, it's sliced at the counter, but the issue is even like when you go to shop right some of that stuff is pre-sliced and they put it to the side so you could pick up and buy it and you don't have to wait in a line for you to get your meat cut um yeah this this tag on recall here man it's definitely something else so if you're a sandwich lover and you love some boar's head here definitely toss it out they do have let's go ahead here 
all boar's head. I'm actually going to leave this in a pinned comment down below because the list is long. It's really long. But some of the things that's included here is the Virginia ham whole, fiber, cappy ham half, hot butt cappy ham, gourmet pepper ham half, sweet slice ham whole, the sweet slice ham half. Um, let's see what else they have. They have the olive loaf, steakhouse slab, bacon is included in this. The skinless pork and beef franks, one pound. Roasted pork. They have garlic ham. Uh, let's see. Natural casing beef franks here. Liverworth, of course, is there. That was, I believe, the initial recall. Brown sugar and spice delight off the bone ham. All of this stuff is definitely recall. They have some under the brand of Old Country. So look out for that as well. Then they also have beef beef salami recall. Toss it out. Don't 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 consume the boar's head right now. And if it's under the brand of the old country, they have some recalls going on too. Like I said, this would be in a pinned comment and also in the description box down below because this is serious. It's summertime. People are packing sandwiches. Kids about to go back to school. Parents are packing sandwiches. This is serious. So you do not want to get sick. It honestly if it's that many recalls from one particular from one brand in general. Um, I just personally, like I said, I just stay away from it and then I'll see what happens over the next few months or whatever the case may be. But um I just stay away from it. They actually have some pictures here. I'm gonna flip the screen. I'm on a computer this morning and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what that label looks like as far as for the boar's head. Um and they have a it goes all the way up to how many images? Like I said, this would also be in a pinned comment down below. So maybe I'll show you guys something. That's 50 something images. It'll be in the pinned comment down below, but I'm gonna show you guys something. So here's basically what it looked like once you guys pull it up on your phone or computer, wherever. Um, so that's what that Liverworth uh, label looks like there. Then they have the Virginia ham here. Then they have here the Italian cappy style ham here extra hot Italian cappy style ham here. There's like so much. They have bologna, uh, beef salami there, steakhouse roasted eating bacon, heat and eat. So they have a bunch of stuff. I never even saw a garlic bologna before. Beef bologna, um, pepper brand ham, water added there. I know some people love they ham. Listen, boar's head, stay away from it. So, yeah, it goes on and on and on and on, even some cheese here. So, there's a huge list here. Like I said, the images are there as well if you guys um, just click on it. You guys will be able to find it if you want to see the label. You know, click that link in the comment or description box down below. Happy to share it with you guys so you all will not be getting sick from the lunch meat. Then we also have a beef recall. I'm going to pull that up on screen right here. Um, definitely ridiculous. Watch out for these recalls as we are preparing. Are we, you know, some of us, we are trying to live healthier lives, um, stay on the right track. And I believe that these recalls and us getting, you know, we possibly was to get sick. I know some people did, according to the report, you know, it can definitely bring you down. You know, some people is depending on your immune system. When you get sick, it's hard for you to come back up. We have to keep our immunity boosted dealing with this stuff. I'm telling you guys. So let's go ahead and pull up this beef recall. Then we have a Montana company recalling ground beef. Uh, it's linked to a deadly outbreak of E. coli infection. So a Montana meat pr processor is recalling ground beef tied to an outbreak of E. coli infections that has killed one patient. So a Montana meat processor is recalling ground beef. Yes. So Lower Valley Processing in Cali Spell, Montana has voluntarily recalled all non-intact raw products, ground meat products, y'all. Produced from animals slaughtered on June 5th, 2024 because they may be adulterated with E. coli. The Montana Department of Livestock announced today. So potentially affected products were labeled with lower value processing establishment number 
0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-